we were talking backstage. You're very excited about this new project you're working on. Mm -hmm. uh, you, music is your first love. I did not know that. It is, yeah. I, I was brought up in a pretty musical family. My dad's a musician, and um, that was definitely my first ever passion was music. Really yeah. exciting. I mean, I've seen you play on the show, <laughs> but it's like, so you're, but you're starting the a The music band. on the show is a bit different to the yeah. stuff that I'm into, but... What, what is it? The name of the band is Legends, right? Legend. Just Legend. Oh, just Legend. Okay, I thought it was like Legends. I was like, wow, you're really stuck coming in hot. Pretty cocky, yeah. Yeah, yeah. wow, Legends. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, it's called Legend. Legend. And uh, what kind of music is it, or who is in the band? It's, uh, it's just like classic rock and roll, I guess. Um, really? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not. There's not, there's not much of it these days, so it's there like... There really isn't. I don't really know, is. but that's what we're all passionate about, so... Oh, we just uh, we all linked up in Vancouver, and we've just been doing it ever since. Uh, and you have a show uh, tomorrow night in D.C. Yeah. Uh, at where are you playing? At the Miracle Theater. Miracle Theater. Yeah. And I would tell everybody get your tickets now, but good news, it's for you. It's sold out. Yeah. So that's great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've that's been lucky. Feel yeah. good, right? It's been good. Yeah. I played a club there called the 9:30 Club. No way. And it, it's a fantastic theater. It's in a band? Yeah, I was in a total. Are you kidding me? What were you, are you doing in the band? Me? You don't think I'm in a band? <laughs> yeah. What were you doing in the band? What would, not, what would not be doing in a band? I was in a band. We we actually opened up. I had a comedy album out at, uh, called The Bathroom Wall. Thank you very much. Please sit down. And uh, we went on tour. We opened for The Strokes. That's insane. It was only it was only for four days, but still, we I still talk about it. We went on tour it. for four days. I still talk about it to this day. We had a tour bus. Uh, we, it was me, uh, Muni Suzuki, which is a great band as well, and we opened up for The Strokes. They were just they were just fun guys, and they were, they, they liked Saturday Night Live, and they heard that I'm I had this album. They're like, Do you want who to else was in the band? Of uh, Mark Ronson actually played bass. Who is now Mark Ronson? Who just won the Academy Award? Yeah, Mark. Yeah, no, yeah, right? Not too shabby. So if you need any, you're the man. You, you need yeah, any touring good. help? You call me first. You okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's talk. Uh, uh, I want to. Uh, I want to talk about your movie. Mm. Uh, Netflix. It's called The Last Summer. Uh, I, I love it. It's a good r romantic comedy. Yeah. Uh, and I, I, I love romantic comedy. I love romantic comedies. Do you really? Yeah, I love romantic comedies. Me too. What's it's your favorite romantic comedy? Gosh, there's so many of them. Uh, <laughs> What was I in? Fever Pitch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh God, please, again, sit, please sit down, please. It's too much. Uh, don't rush the stage. Uh, oh, I love everything. You know what I can't turn off if it's on is love, actually. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure, yeah. If it's on, I go, I have to watch the whole thing. Have you, you uh, have you seen Four Christmases? Oh, I love Four Christmases. Reese Witherspoon Vince Vaughn. and Vince Vaughn. Vince Vaughn is probably my favorite actor. Really? Yeah, I think he, he just kind of, every time I watch him, I just feel like he just takes me out of wh wherever I am. Reality. And I'm just sucked into him. Yeah, you know he's a mean? great guy. Yeah, yeah. like zoned right in. That was one of my favorite movies that he did, Sucked Into Him. And it was a, it was a <laughs> small release, but it was, nonetheless, it was a movie. Uh, but t tell everyone what The Last Summer is about. The Last Summer is a romantic comedy, yeah. which is why I was really excited about it. It was my first time being that kind of film. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's about, um, you know, it's a coming of age film about uh, the last summer before graduation pretty much and kind of the twists and turns of that chapter of life. And I think everyone can relate to being in that kind of situation, you know what I mean? It's Figuring out pretty much what your passion is and what, what you want to get after. Those are like my two favorite genres. I like, uh, mm -hmm. I like romance comedy, I like coming of age. I do, I love yeah. those things where it's like, when summer ends, we're all going to split up. We're sucked into to... him, bro. And, That's what sucked into him was about. Sucked into him was about that, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, but I never made it that far. I never watched the whole thing. But uh, I watched around 10 minutes. That was enough for me. Uh, <laughs> you were done after that? I was finished, yeah. I didn't want to see any more of it. But I will watch it. I have it on <laughs> DVD. Uh, uh, but uh, the, the, uh, what was I going to say now? I'm thinking about something else. Sorry. <laughs> uh, no, but, I, but I, I like that because, yeah, you split up. You don't know what you're going to do in college. Do you mm -hmm. stay together? You're, and then even after college is another. You could do mm -hmm. the second last summer. You yeah. could do the sequel. Yeah, last I mean, summer again, you know? Yeah. Yeah. We're, let's, sucked into him, too. Sucked into him, part two. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we just get into that, of course. Right, enough, 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 enough of that. that. Enough, enough. Enough, enough, enough. You took it too far. Uh, I'm sorry about that. That was that. your fault. You st I, know, I started it. I know. Well, yeah, we both started yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. We made a good team. And it's on and on and on.